Dr. Igor Vasilev. Sound Factory, a mad laboratory of sound creation. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room, where today we are going to, hang on, hang on, where today we are going to take a look at Soundscaper, the incredible new app from Igor Vasilev. Uh, this is, is fabulous, it's a fabulous, fabulous app. Uh, the organ, by the way, which we can close now, was uh, Magellan. So, what is Soundscaper? Well... It's a sample-based sound lab. You can have three samples here. It's numbered one, two, three, uh, and they're kind of they're called oscillators, but they're sample-based oscillators. Okay, so you have this one here, number one, which is this one, number two, which is this one, number three, which is this one, and then over here you have the LFO delay resonance uh, and filter controls for each one independently. Okay, so here we have uh, random, which will randomize everything, which I'll show you in a bit. And then you have here, for each one, you have control. So if you hit control, it takes you to control for each independent oscillator. And you can see here, it's like a circuit bending. Now, I don't understand how that works, okay, so, but you don't need to. This is more about having a really, really enjoyable time with the samples. And uh, you can create some seriously, seriously good stuff. So down here... This is the one that I have uh, set up. So first of all, you will see that the output level for one and two is turned down completely. And this one is quite high. Okay. And if you go to control here, you'll see across the top here that these switch the triggers on and off. And this will fire the 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 circuit bending, but it, when it's completely closed uh, and or switched off, if you like, um, all you will hear is the actual the actual uh, sample. So if I was to just press play now, that's just the sample I imported from Audio Share, and it will trigger again. We'll hear some noise here, but you'll see that I'm filtering it. I can't switch filtering off but I can filter it in different ways. So that's about as close to the original sample as I can get. And here it is here. And if you're wearing headphones, which I suggest you do, you will hear it move around the stereo field. It's not instant as well, because it, so it fades in nicely. And at the top here, you will have more reverb. And then you can control the reflections and the actual space here. So there's very little happening to that bell sound now, except some low-pass filtering going on. Now here, you have three LFOs, um, okay? And then you can switch the LFOs on for all of them. So all three LFOs engaged there now. And then you can set the resonance as well and then delays and this is what you decide is controlled controlling the the lfos here the oscillator side in the distance and then you have depth speed whether it's trigger enabled or not. And then we can get really, really mad now. We can switch our circuits on via these switches here, which refer to those two at the top there. So they'll be off now, see? So if we switch all of them on, go to control, you'll see they're all on. So this is kind of, you're gonna see how you start to manipulate the samples that are running. So we can change all this round.
No, we start to fade in oscillator two. And oscillator three. Go to control for oscillator one now. And you can choose from any of these files that are there, or you can choose from our imported library, uh, which you heard was uh, the Gothic Bell, but I have a little beat here, so let's put that in. So this is for oscillator one. If I hit randomize, it changes the sample out as well. Let's go back to control. You can see that all these are switched off, and we're working with this line here. Let's change the sample. choose from different categories so we could old sci-fi movie we could choose from pretty much the original sample there the rate and the depth of the LFO. The duty cycle of the oscillators to do with the circuit bending, different triggering modes. Reverse. So you can hear reverse better if
can see there, I've got this is called Gothic, Gothic, Gothic Dreams. And um, if I want to now save that that over Gothic Dreams, just rewrite the patch, I just hit save. Or if I hit the file here and select, um, let me see what I want to do. I can rename it. Um, or let's see, close. I think if I hit new here, add it. There you go. It's renamed my. It's got my scene in. Then I can rename it. Um, Gothic altered. So that's okay. And then I've still got my Gothic dream. So we can say let's uh, load in a blip feed. So set. Close play. And then let's load in Gothic Altered. And then Gothic Dreams. Which goes back to where we started from at the beginning. Okay, so let's listen to a few of the demos here. It's very easy to see what's going on. Just by playing around, it's great. We have a gate as well. Switch all three LFOs on for that one. Go completely mad. It's actually, it's surprising how much control 
on alter you, you can alter the sound just by playing around a little bit with the controls uh, so the basic you get this is your spatial awareness higher up the top your reverb comes in uh, closer no reverb but much uh, more prominent in the mix um, so how do we get uh, get our own samples in dead easy uh, we can use audio share I think we can use iTunes file sharing as well maybe and drop I'm not sure but we just find a uh, let's find something we can we can use so I have a, a thing here that's for a later release somewhere but I will just take a section of it so let's see now we'll um, trim this well, We'll just take a small section. Let me just say as well, you can load the samples up to, I think, 95 seconds in length. Uh, and after that, uh, Soundscaper will truncate, it will cut the sample to suit. So 95 seconds is quite a long time for loops and things. But you can put some really crazy stuff in there, you know. So we've got here. You don't need very long. So let me just uh, save that. So there's the trimmed wave, and we'll rename this from uh, so f uh, sound C um, trim done. Okay, and then we can use our open in, and we can locate. Sound Scaper, which is there. And it should be in our files here. There it is. And we can play it. So that's fine. So we can close that now. Uh, you, you can save an 8-bit version as well. So let's do this. And then you'll see how different it sounds. So you can do, make some alterations in this file saving session. Just hear that. So that's nice and gritty and, and, and like 8-bit of style. But we're going to stick with this one for now. Anyway, we'll close this. And then what we want to do is choose our oscillator we'd like to drop that into. So we'll put it into number one. And we'll go to library here. And you'll see sound, see trim, the ordinary version. We can play it. And this is how it's... That's how it's sounding now with all the bits and pieces going on. So let's just set that. All right, I'm going to make set. So we'll just we'll play this and see how it sounds now. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll, we'll take down the volume levels of oscillators two and three. And then we'll just take the trigger pulse down. And then switch off the triggering. Go to control. Take down the Aleppo depth and the clock. We're going to turn off resonance and delays. Sorry, wrong one. I'm going to speed the clock up a little bit, I think. Now, you see that start to sound similar. And this is. Now, 
this is a good point as well to show you how the gate the gate works okay so you can get to a fail you can get to a point where it's, it, it resembles your original your original uh, sample and then you can start to mess around with these trigger points here so let's turn this one on Yeah, go through various settings for them as well. And then we can completely start to destroy the sound. So there you go, guys. There's a basic, basic, basic overview of Soundscape and some of the crazy stuff you can do inside uh, uh, Igor Vasilev's Soundscaper, which is uh, it's such good fun. And it really is like a sound lab. You can just get your three samples in and just mutilate them, twist them around, affect them. You do pretty much anything you want with them, and it just sounds so cool. And... Yeah, you're just good to go with loads and loads of really cool stuff. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. If you do like the video, visit soundtestream.com. Um, be kind, become a patron. It's very good from as little as $1 a month, and it really, really helps us out. And, uh, okay, guys, I'll uh, see you later.